you don't know who Michael Burry is, well, remember this guy? Well, actually, that's not Michael Burry. That's the actor Christian Bale. This is Michael Burry. He's the founder of Sion Asset Management, and he rose to fame for being one of the first people to correctly predict the real estate bubble of 2007. He was so confident that the real estate market would crash that he took out a short position worth billions of dollars. And when the real estate bubble burst, he made $100 million for himself and $700 million for his investors. This made such a good story that it was turned into a movie, and Michael Burry became a household name in the investing world. And what's lesser known about Michael Burry is this is not the only time that he's profited off of a bubble. During the dot-com bubble, of 2001, his hedge fund was up 55%. Meanwhile, the S&P 500 was down 11.88%. And he was able to achieve these returns by shorting overvalued tech stocks at the peak of the internet bubble. So with Michael Burry's reputation of predicting and profiting off of bubbles, investors definitely take notice when he's pessimistic or short a certain industry or stock. And that reason is why I'm making this video. So let's talk all about Michael Burry. Last week, it was revealed that Michael Burry holds a $534 million bet against Tesla stock. And the reason we know this is because of section 13F of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934, which requires investment managers with over $100 million in securities to file quarterly reports on certain holdings within 45 days of each quarter end. And this essentially forced Michael Burry to disclose this information. But I shouldn't really say forced because this isn't the first time we've heard about Burry's Tesla position. He actually first revealed his a short position in a series of tweets over the last few months. So in this video, I want to cover the details of Burry's short position, his mysterious tweets about Tesla leading up to now, and the reasons Burry has for being anti-Tesla stock. So if you find this video interesting, please hit that like button and subscribe for plenty more. So firstly, let's talk about this $534 million bet against Tesla. Like, what even does that actually mean? Well, specifically, Burry is long puts against 800,100 shares of Tesla. And if that doesn't make any sense to you, let's quickly explain what a put option is. A put option gives the owner the right, but not the obligation, to sell a stock for a specific price up until an expiration date in the future. So to explain that more simply, let's look at an example using Tesla stock. For the sake of this example, let's say the price of Tesla stock is $100. Let's imagine you think Tesla is very overvalued and you have reason to believe that the stock price will come down in the future. In this case, you might want to buy a $90 put option. This is the right to sell Tesla stock at the strike price of $90 a share. Let's also assume the cost of purchasing this option is $10. So now, if Tesla stock falls from $100 a share down to $50 a share, you would have made a hefty profit. This is because you can purchase Tesla stock for $50 and you have the right to sell it for the $90 strike price, making a $40 profit. You then also have to subtract $10 for the cost of the option, so in the end, you make a $30 profit. But this is a very risky type of investing because if Tesla stock doesn't drop below the $90 strike price by a certain date, then your options will expire worthless so you'll actually lose your $10. So you can see why this is very risky, because you can lose your total investment if the stock doesn't move the way that you think it will by a certain time. So with this in mind, let's relate back to Burry's short position in Tesla. He holds a total of 800,100 puts in Tesla stock. Here's the issue, however, we don't know the strike position of his options, the price he paid for the options themselves, and the date they're set to expire. So unfortunately, this means we don't know how well his short is doing. What we do know, however, is for every dollar Tesla stock decreases in price, assuming Burry's options expire in the money, he will be $800,100 better off. We also know that Burry first announced his Tesla short over Twitter in December 2020. And at that time, Tesla was around five or $600. Tesla then continued its rapid increase in price, hitting an all-time closing high of $883 per share on the 26th of January, 2021. So that means that Tesla stock increased 50% or so a month after Burry announced his short position. At this time, we can all safely assume that Michael Burry was like, Anyone who's watched The Big Short remembers that scene. Burry's screaming because he's short the housing market, but his bet is going terribly because the housing market is continuing to boom and increase in price. And since his bet that the real estate bubble is going to crash wasn't coming to fruition as soon as he thought, he is absolutely burning through his investors' money as he's having to pay for credit default swaps against subprime mortgages that big banks like Goldman Sachs sold to him. So his investors are at risk of losing all of their money. They think he's insane for betting against the housing market and are demanding all of their money back and are even taking legal action against him. And all of this craziness is causing Burry to be like,
but there's a chance that this whole experience made the whole Tesla situation a bit more bearable. Since on the 10th of January, Burry tweeted, well, my last big short got bigger and bigger and bigger too. So it seems like he's come to terms that things might not go his way in the short term, as long as he gets it right in the long term and Tesla stock does crash. And luckily for Burry, since January of this year, Tesla stock has been on a significant decline. And as of May 27th, 2021, Tesla stock is $630 per share, which is about the same price as it was when Burry announced his short position back in December. Burry also likely loaded up on more put options as the price of Tesla increased. So it could be possible that his investment is in the positive right now. Okay, so now I wanna focus on the main reasons Burry has for shorting Tesla. The biggest reason, which honestly overarches all the other reasons Burry has for shorting Tesla, is that he thinks Tesla is ridiculously overvalued. AKA, he thinks Tesla is in a bubble. Burry tweeted this picture, which basically shows the revenue, EBIT, which is earnings before interest and tax and market cap of all the leading auto manufacturers alongside Tesla. Burry's main hypothesis was the fact that the revenue, EBIT, and total market cap for the leading 32 auto manufacturers was $2.3 trillion, $99 billion, and $806 billion. Whereas for Tesla, the revenue, EBIT, and total market cap were $24.5 billion minus $69 million, and $438 billion. The conclusion he drew was that from a valuation perspective, you are essentially paying roughly 50% more than Tesla to acquire a stake in all the other 32 auto manufacturers. And in the process, you'd be getting 90 times more in revenue, which is, uh, yeah, that sounds like a better deal to me. Burry also tweeted out, that in one day alone, the market cap of Tesla increased by a whopping $60 billion, which is equivalent to one GM, two Hershey's, three Etsy's, four Domino's, and 10 Vornado's. So these tweets were very controversial because as you probably already know, there are a lot of people that genuinely think that Elon Musk is a visionary and will fully back any project he works on, regardless of investment fundamentals. And their main counter argument is that Tesla is not just an automaker. It's pursuing a lot of other projects with a lot of potential such as Tesla's solar panels and roofs. So now moving on to the second reason Burry has for shorting Tesla stock. And this reason ties in with the first one. It's the fact that Tesla can't return a quarterly profit without relying on the sale of EV credits. Or, as of more recently, Bitcoin. So what are these credits that Tesla's selling? Well, environmental emissions programs around the world give out credits to automakers that produce and sell electric vehicles. And if an automaker doesn't have enough credits by the end of the year, it could face punishments from state regulators. And since Tesla produces nothing but electric vehicles, it racks up way more credits than it needs to to meet the minimum regulatory requirements. So it turns around and sells the excess credits to other automakers so they can avoid penalties. So although Tesla has been able to maintain quarterly profits, which has allowed Tesla to join the S&P 500. Without the sale of these EV credits, Tesla would actually be losing money, which isn't a great look for a company that has been in operation for over 17 years. And this is a similar case with Tesla's $1.5 billion Bitcoin purchase, where the quarterly reports show that Tesla made more profit in the first three months with Bitcoin than it did actually selling cars. And the last major reason Burry has for being short Tesla is to do with the issues of the actual Tesla vehicles themselves. Tesla has faced a lot of criticism over its batteries being inferior and for collisions caused while using Tesla's self-driving function. This has resulted in a lot of bad press for Tesla, which has definitely negatively impacted people's perception of the company. So after all these reasons, it seems like Michael Burry's making a bit of sense. But let me know what you think about it down in the comments below, whether you agree with them, whether Elon Musk is gonna take us all to the moon. And if you found this video helpful or interesting, hit that like button as well.